start with. So you had um, about three million people per year. That's pretty amazing coming through Laguna. I mean, I'm, yeah, I heard that Scottsdale does more uh, th does more uh, art business than the entire West Coast combined, actually, which is interesting. Do you have any stuff in Scottsdale or? No, no, no. I haven't really gone anywhere else. I mean, I have my work in uh, all the galleries, but uh, I really haven't gone and looked for galleries because yeah. I mean, I. I, uh, I cannot really produce that much art. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, uh, with, with what I have right now, it, I think it's enough for me. Yeah. But if I am able to create more, then I, I probably will go to other places where I can yeah, uh, have my work yeah, in, in those other galleries, basically. Okay. Yeah, I'm really curious too, like, with, I know a girl who's 17 years old, okay. and she just told her mother that she wants to be an artist for the rest of her life. Uh -huh. <laughs> From your perspective, if you were her father, or let's say you're her friend, yes. like what, what, I mean, if she came to you and she asked you about being an artist, what would you have to say about that at 17? Uh, 17, well, um, if she has passion for art, yeah. I would say always follow your passion. I mean, uh, don't do something that you don't like. Do what you like. Do what your heart uh, is telling you to do. And even if you um, are having troubles at the beginning, you're going to go very far later because uh, you have the tools to grow big. But uh, it's only if you have that pa real passion. It, you know when, when you have it, you know, you, when you are when you're obsessed. Really pursuing, yeah, you're obsessed, you are, this is what I like to do, and that's when you have to really pursue what you uh, uh, want to do, you know, and, 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 and probably you already hear that, follow your passion, don't be uh, struggling your life doing something that you don't like. Yeah. Uh, because I mean, you 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 need to enjoy life, you know. And, and and of course, I will recommend if she really wants to do that or he wants to do it because they have that passion that is telling them this is what you are, uh, you know. You have this is what you have to you're supposed to do. Then go for it, you know. And and, and even when you have that passion. Like that, like like it happened to me. There are gonna be times when you're gonna be doubting if this is really the uh, my path. Um, yeah. Because I mean, you're gonna, oh, I've been there. you're you're gonna struggle in, in life. Yeah. But it's not only art. It, you're gonna struggle in life in whatever direction you will go. And 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 I mean, if you go for a career that you will think this is gonna be more money making, yeah. you're gonna struggle there too. You know. So it's better to struggle in, in something that you like than struggle in something that you don't like. So, uh, because when you struggle in something that you like, yeah. uh, then you're gonna overcome and, 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 and you're gonna find your way in, to do better. So maybe that's the reason we are here for 10 years because yeah. this has been my passion and it's something that I really, I mean, it feels a lot of people think that, that I work very hard, yeah. and, and I do. I work hard, but, yeah. I, but, but I don't feel it. You know, you know, I don't feel that I'm working hard. Uh, people say, oh, this guy works so hard. And I, I, I think, uh, why am I, in what manner I'm working hard? Yeah. I don't feel, to me, this is a passion yeah. that I am happy when I'm working. Yeah. Because um, um, to me, it's not work, it's, it's, it's a hobby. It's something that I, I was born to, to do, so it's not that I'm working, I don't feel that I'm working hard, I feel that whatever work I'm doing, it's just like uh, giving me more life, you know? Ooh, so, nice. so that is the, uh, the difference uh, between doing your passion and doing something that you're doing because something else, because your parents tell you this, <laughs> this is what you have to do or you're uh, or uh, I'm gonna be making more money here and then you're gonna be struggling all your life making money yeah you can make money 
but uh, uh, but you're not gonna enjoy life. You know, life is very short yeah. to to waste it in in at the end. Yeah, especially if you don't. Yeah. yeah. No. Like personally, to to me, there are two things very important in life: follow your passion and pay attention to your family. You know, uh -huh. like family, God. Well, there are three. God is first. Family is second, and, and, and then your passion. Passion, of course, uh, your passion is going to be your work. Yeah. To support your family. Yeah. To support your family. Oh, yeah. And having God in, your, in the center of your life. And, and God is going to always provide. You know, I mean, everybody's going to struggle, but God is going to give you always the tools to continue. You know, like, yeah. uh, He's going to give you direction, He's going to give you ways to overcome and, 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 to, and to pursue your passion. Well, so, yeah. I, I just want to ask you one thing, and this is totally addressed to uh, my, 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 uh, the, the mom mm -hmm. who was talking to me about this. Like, if you were, because <laughs> cause, uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this girl is, she's obviously like, I can't believe that my daughter would, uh, like, how, how in the heck is she going to live? Like, what, what would you say to the mom? Uh -huh. what, I mean, how would you address that, you know, if you're talking to... Is that your daughter? Or no, no, no. That's a, a friend of mine. Her daughter wants to, at 17, wants to yeah. be an artist. And oh, the mom does the And, and I'm, I'm friends with the mom. Okay. And the mom was talk, talking to me about it. And I said, you know, that's... I think that's great. Um, yeah. I just wanted to, you know, start making connections for her with uh, how... How does her daughter uh, get the art seen and, and get herself recognized and, and people interested? You know, <laughs> like, I mean, like, would you recommend like Instagram or galleries? I mean, what routes do we have? Well, uh, each person has its own approach, right? Like, yeah. we are different. We are. I mean, I don't even know how I got to this point. I mean, I in my head. Yeah. Like it was not to open a gallery, never ever in my in my life. You know that was not my idea. Uh, I I not even exhibiting. I was just painting because I enjoy painting, and I, I I used to work in a factory. <laughs> and after like <laughs> uh, after working, I ran to my studio yeah. and paint, 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 paint. In the morning, I was painting, and 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 then uh, whenever like if I had some free times, I was painting. And of course, I mean, those paintings were not the best paintings. Sometimes I got frustrated because they were not really looking good. But the, the point is that um, I, was, I was different. Uh, I, I found a way, and, and it was not the best uh, way because uh, it took me, it, I feel that it took me long because uh, I, I thought I didn't have any connections, and I didn't have any connections. Uh, yeah. I used to see other artists that they were being helped by, by other people that, uh, and I was like, wow, well, they've got help. I mean, uh, what am I going to do? What is my, how, is, how am I going to find my path? But in life, when you pursue um, in something, you're going to find it, you know, like uh, yeah. if, if you're going to find a door open uh, when you are in, in, a, in your path. I mean, it can be early, it can be later, it can be late, whatever, but you're going to find it. If it's early, sometimes you're not ready yet for that because it's too early probably, but, but that will help you to grow faster. Oh, if, it's, yeah. if it's in the middle, then you're more prepared and then uh, that will be a, a better way. If it's late, you're extremely prepared. And then when you get there, you right away grow because you are, and that happened to me. I was very well prepared when I had the opportunity. Yeah. I, it was like a boom. And, and, and I was like very excited because everything was working so well. Oh, nice. So uh, the thing is. Was that opening this gallery? Or opening? No, 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 I was in a, uh, it was my first gallery. Uh, it was not my gallery. But the first opportunity to be in a gallery, it was a co-op gallery too, oh. that, that uh, when, we paid to be there, but then uh, I started selling pretty well, and it was in the res during the recession, in the very bottom of the recession. Oh. So I was having troubles uh, getting projects for what I was doing before, which I used to do murals, and uh, no, there were no more jobs around. So uh, 
and then it was when I started painting on campus and I started in a gallery and then boom everything I, I got out of the uh, you know the anxiety that no work no oh yeah, yeah. so um, actually that kind of saved me from being under I mean not employed yeah so um, and then I realized that uh, the people that collect art are people that have very uh, they are wealthy people uh -huh. most of the collectors they are wealthy people they don't care about recessions or all right. that stuff. So, if you're doing art, I mean, well, that's what you said. It, it, the recession almost doesn't matter no. because there's always people who are going to come in who've got yeah. tons of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Money, and right? sometimes they believe that art will, uh, you know, they, if they spend money in art, that it's not going to devalue. You know, it's actually going to get yeah, it's going to appreciate. Yeah, yeah. so. An investment. Yeah, so art, I mean, even when we, art is not a necessity for, you know, like you have, you have to buy a, a painting, uh, but at the same time, it's a good established, uh, if, uh, you know, like way to, to uh, invest your money, you know, and yeah. you invest your money, you fulfill your uh, soul, having a beautiful piece in your house, yeah. and, and, you know, what else can you ask for? Um, yeah, so, so following a passion, I mean, it's just like go for it, uh, practice as much as possible, and then, then one day, somewhere, you somehow you're gonna come out, out of your uh, uh, non existing life, and then suddenly being uh, uh, there, and, and people will know you, and of course. Yeah. You have to do your part. I mean, don't be like, I don't want anybody to see me. I don't, don't be shy. I mean, yeah. That would be the worst thing. I mean, at the, yeah, because yeah. some artists are, you know, they're shy. Some yeah. some people, you know, introverted and don't want to be seen. I, but but yeah. that's that's a hindrance, right? Yeah, I, I was very shy before, and but I try to do my best. You know, like right now we're filming. I'm not really a natural. Uh, a uh, talker or speaker, or whatever. But in uh, in in at the same time, I'm a, a, my my first uh, language is Spanish. So it, to me, uh, it's, it was a struggle to 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 go uh, and speak in English. Yeah. And, and I think that was my <laughs> to be shy. It was part of it because I didn't speak the language. Oh. So, but just practicing and, and trying to be there and trying to make it push me to go, to go in that direction. So oh. each person is going to have their own uh, situations, their own problems, they are, their own thing. Each person is in a different way. Yeah. So you just have to go for it and in, in, in the way you're going to find better avenues you know yeah so just I, I my uh, to me it's just like go for it and then find the path you know your right path the other thing is uh, sometimes people say like how am I gonna how can I support my son my daughter to so he can be a good artist in the future yeah don't worry about it I mean huh. if I was able to do it without any support I mean my father yeah. support me yeah. buying me materials and all that stuff but that was it. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, I mean, if I was able to make it without any like really big support, I found my way, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because it was a passion. I mean, nobody. Oh my can God, big. That's awesome. Nobody can that's stop. Awesome. Yeah, nobody can stop a passion. You know, like if you're passionate, nobody's gonna come in and 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 stop you and or, or you know like. You to have this passion. Oh, there's nobody that, does that. Happen. Yeah, even nobody if you, does that. Then even if you go to the worst place, you're gonna be out there uh, doing whatever you like. And, you know, like uh, because uh, people see it and they respect it, they like uh, it. It gives them life. Yeah, I don't know if you know uh, hear about Cervantes, uh, Cervantes, Cervantes. Saavedra, a uh, Spanish writer. He he wrote the um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, Don Quixote de la Mancha, yeah. Don Quixote. He was in jail. They caught, they, they caught him oh, and wow. put him in jail. Is there he made the uh, Don Quixote? Oh really? So that that novel is around very famous around the world. Well, he was in jail. So they couldn't even stop him when he was there. He was enjoying his life 
inside because it was actually positive for him to be in jail because nobody bothered him. He was just writing, 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 right. writing. So, I mean, you can be free and, and be... And he didn't have a cell phone. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> you can be... No distraction. Yeah, exactly. You can be free and, and being uh, not happy. You can be, you know, uh, put in some place and be very happy. So, it just, you're going to follow your passion and, and no matter what, you're going to overcome things because it's something that you like. I mean, if you don't have the passion for that, look for the real passion. Where is that thing? Yeah. So that would be basically, yeah. yeah. So um, so that that's my recommendation, basically, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you. Uh, thank right. you, Hugo. Um, by the way, we met through a mutual friend, and he introduced me, and it's good to be finally working with him. I was unprepared when we first met, but I finally got things together and uh hey thank you very much Hugo. all right no problem yeah i'm sorry that we uh, we're in the middle of this uh situation we're not shaking hands we're not hugging but uh but there you <laughs> go. 